Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about a statement from Brian Kibler and he said that Magic Online is just not a very good video game. Let me quote him exactly. It just isn't a very good video game. So Magic Online, the problem I feel like is when people complain about something, they don't actually stop doing it. And this is a issue I have as well for quite a bit of time is I really didn't like Magic Online, but I kept putting money into it. And, you know, from a perspective, a business perspective, why, if I own a business and people are buying my stuff and it's kind of crappy, I can make a better version of it, but it would cost me money to make a better version, why would I ever change if I'm still getting money? You might say, oh, because you want more money. What if I'm very comfortable with the money I currently have and I don't actually want more money? Then in that case, I would just keep it the same crappy system. So every you know every few days there's a new bug. Every few days the system uh, somebody complains on Reddit. Every few days, uh, this has been happening for like forever. And it used to be in 1995 or when it first launched, understandable because that's what products were back in the day. But holy crap! It looks like the product is still from 1995. Like. I remember playing Mech Warriors and I was like, and Magic Online together. I was like, oh, Mech Warriors is like so much more advanced than Mech, uh, Magic Online. And that was in like 2000 or something like. So yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, Magic Online, for however long it's existed, has uh, not been, oh, it wasn't 1995. I think it was 2000 when I was playing Magic Online. And uh, you used to get like a CD or the starter kit and then you could install it. And it was the same. It was the same as I use. It's the same as right now. And that's, so I mean, what video game, like what, it would be like Tomb Raider having the same exact graphics on the PS4 as it did when it was on the PS1. Would people still play Tomb Raider? I don't know. Maybe if you're into retro games and that's how I view Magic Online. It's a, uh, retro game to me like I mean it's very sad to say that because and that's not how like I only view it Brian Kibler who makes video games who makes uh, Ascension I believe is the game that he makes he believes the same thing you uh, you look at the game and you say to yourself I love this game so many people love magic and so many people love the concept of magic online that you can go play and you can uh, play any time at night. You don't have to. You can live in the middle of nowhere and play. And all very amazing concepts for our community. But the execution of said concepts are is beyond poor. It's embarrassing. Um, it's and the reason they can still get away with it is because people like me and people like you keep putting money into it. Uh, Hearthstone, for instance, you can join a game for about two bucks, two, two US dollars. Magic Online, jo joining a draft costs fifteen dollars. One draft. Online. What other downloadable content can you have? Do you have to download over and over again for fifteen dollars? And if you had this in the video, if you had, if you made this into purely the video game model and it wasn't Magic Online, it would not survive. If it was any other card game, not Magic, it would not survive because people wouldn't be willing to pay. The way I look at it, every draft is paying $15 for another new downloadable content. And you just keep paying and you keep paying and you keep paying and what else? I mean, honestly, what else? Why? Um, would the only way I can see Magic Online getting better is if people left the game and never came back. And then their revenue hurt. And then Hasbro goes down and says, listen guys, we need to hire a new team. Everyone's fired. This is our new team. Um, we're going to pay them good salaries. We're going to help, help, help them any way we can. And it's just so frustrating when I think about how awesome Magic Online would be. Because I'm a young professional, I don't have time to go to FNM, I still want to play Magic, but I'm refusing, refusing to put any more money into the system. And, I mean the redemption went from $5 to $25, that wasn't great. Now we get payouts, which is 
like what, what is that? Like it's ghost money. It's monopoly money. Cool. I I got a payout. I can use it to play more games and especially for casual players. The problem I feel as I become more and more casual is Magic Online is only competitive players. They have totally offended the casual player to the point that they don't play Magic Online anymore and it's all a bunch of very high level or very competitive I want to win players and that creates a very bad atmosphere as the messenger boxes I don't get it like I truly don't get why they have such a great product they have such a great concept the execution is so poor the only people who are going to use it are very competitive people what about the casual people and you might say oh more mayor and like EDH and have you been to Magic Online? Have you seen the chats people talk to each other? Even if they're playing EDHs, they're not like happy to be there. No one's happy to be there. They just want to win. And I think at the end of the day, you have to question, if I'm not a professional player, I don't want to be competitive, and I just want to go play Magic Online, Magic Online, or Magic, does not have that right now as a platform. And you might say cockatrice, all that stuff, but like, that's not the same. And like, if I wanna have EDAs with my friends and four people when just playing EDAs, we have fun at the local store, that should be the same feeling I have when I log in. I shouldn't be like, oh, deuce bag, deuce bag, deuce bag, deuce bag, deuce bag. Like, that's what it is. Like, I played EDAs, I played Legacy, I played all the formats of Magic Online, and Such a great concept, such a great game, just executed beyond poorly. Um, no casual player, I mean, if you're a casual player, why are you on Magic Online? Because there's a bunch of people who want to beat you down as fast as they can. And that's the community, that's a community Magic Online has chosen to build. Bye guys.